What's good? What's hood? YouTube. What up? What up? It's your man Jay. It's your man Twan. And this is Tech Taste Daily. Daily. Twan. You know that I am obsessed with artificial intelligence. Okay. So I have some questions that I would like to ask you to see if my obsession matches your interest. All right. Question number one. What do you think of artificial intelligence when it comes to pets? Artificial intelligence when it comes to pets. Artificial dogs, cats, oh. hamsters. Yeah, it's as long, long as they don't get too smart for their own good. Are you friends with any of them right now? Do I have any AI pet friends? Have you met, <laughs> have you, have you met any of the artificial dogs or cats? Um, They're very endearing. No, I don't think so. They're cute, man. My daughter had a Furby, but... What's like, a Furby? Like I don't a, even know what that is. Like an artificial guinea pig or rat or Word? squirrel. I don't know. It's it's a fantasy creature. It looks Does like it? a little teddy bear <laughs> slash guinea pig. Oh, damn. And they, like, talk their little Furby talk to each other. You had to have two so they could talk. Oh, to I know what you're talking about. Did, yeah. So when you pet him, does he like hang out yeah, with you they and stuff? Like, yeah, they. Uh, like okay, shit, okay. So they don't speak English, so they're just speaking gibberish. <laughs> gotcha. So, but that's still an educated. Okay, yeah, cool. You know, cool. It, it, you pet it and it knows it's being pet. So yeah, that's, I guess that's like a pet. Question number <laughs> two: <laughs> Are most AI bots male or female? <laughs> Uh, most AI bots, male or female? Yes. Well, well all my Google AIs are female by default. Good so say female. answer. Damn, my <laughs> man, killing it right. Okay, okay, I feel you. Yeah, you notice if you um if you talk to the people that help you when you're trying to get your phone fixed or your laptop or whatever, it's always a girl. Huh. You know what I'm saying? It's never like, hi, I'm Stuart and I will help you. <laughs> it's Siri or somebody. You know what I'm ooh, saying? Ooh. Okay, so um, do you think that artificial intelligence right now, in its current state, can repair itself? Repair itself? Yes, let's say um, a robot has a problem with its arm. Can it fix its own arm? Oh, not yet. No, that, as far as I'm aware, there are no robots fixing themselves. There are Barely robots building robots yet. True. So maybe I shouldn't say robots. Can artificial intelligence fix itself? Like Google. Google is a form of artificial intelligence, right? Yeah, yeah. So you're, you're, you're asking if the Can the algorithm correct itself? Well, that, 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 that we would call machine learning then. And, and, ah, and so yes. Yep. Oh, you're fix smart. It, fix itself. I don't, I don't know if I would call it that, but... The, the, the algorithm perfects itself over time, I guess, but it doesn't make itself do new things necessarily. Judges, what do you say? Survey says that is correct. Twan is on a roll. You're doing good. <laughs> All right. As it stands right now, how much of the human workforce will be replaced by artificial intelligence within the next year. Huh. In the next year? In the next year. By AI? By artificial intelligence. I wouldn't say any more than a couple of percent. In the next year. The answer is, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it, does, it doesn't have the answer. <laughs> if you would have known, I would have been really impressed. But I think that's a good, it can't be. It better not be like 15% or nothing I, like that. I don't think. There's, there's not enough broad AI, I don't think, to take that much. I mean, and we don't trust it yet. No. So the AI that can do stuff, we don't really trust it to do the stuff that humans were doing before. So they got that, that AI, AI doctor that diagnoses illnesses and stuff. What? It's, it's been finding cancer or something what? at about an equal rate. Of the doctors. Doctor! They're not, gonna, they're not about to uh, replace the doctors with. I was AI. talking about more like driving trucks and flipping hamburgers. You talking about <laughs> doctors? 
Well, no, it's it's <laughs> it's basically wow. looking at the. If I remember correctly, I'll try to find the the article and post a link. But, okay. Uh, it's it's uh, it's a AI that reads X rays, looking for wow. signs of cancer or something like that. Okay. And uh, last I checked, I think it was about equal with the doctors. So. They're not getting ready to replace the doctors and have the AI do it. <laughs> right. You know, if the AI misses something and you die of cancer because no real doctor looked at it, you're going to sue somebody. Yes. So that we're, we're not ready for that yet. So, it's, again, that's why I say maybe 1% or 2% because it's not replacing anybody. Well, it's only 2021. I mean, Except who knows? Except for photo recognition and facial recognition. Obviously, Dude. they're replacing whoever is looking for criminals in the airport. <laughs> if we're already at that point at the beginning of 2021, where are we going to be by 2030? It's a crazy thought, bro. Well, you know, whenever we talk about stuff like that and we watch these videos, yes. like this video we're about to watch yes. on AI or right. videos we watch on robots, yep. what we're seeing, if we're seeing it, that's not the state of the art. Booyah! If we're seeing it, it's some stuff that nobody cares about. It yep. hasn't been classified yet. The military yep. doesn't give a shit about it. But as soon as they create something that can, you know, run through a battlefield somewhere and chop everybody up and don't have to lose any soldiers... We're, We're not, not going to hear about that, that shit. That shit gets classified. We will not That's hear why I think we haven't heard anything about Osimo for years. I think you're right, right? Dude. Osimo was, like, from the, what, like, the early 2000s. Way a long time ago. We were we right? were super excited about that. And nothing. nothing. Like, no new Osimo. I mean, you've seen the Boston Dynamics robots dancing and shit. Yep. But that's what they're showing us. You know so the military. So what are the robots that we can't, that they are classified doing? If they're showing yeah. us the robots doing the shuffle and, and backflips and shit. The, you know them drones and them robots are out there causing mayhem. Right. And we're just not hearing about it. Exactly. It's classified. Right. Anyway, so let's take a look at this video. Uh, which what was this video that we have here again? Um, this is one of my favorite artificial intelligence scientists, creators, whatever you want to call him. He's, he works on, um, I think it's called Singularity... University or something of that, something to do with the singularity, and he's one of the one of the top guys with artificial intelligence. He claims that artificial intelligence will not take over the world, and everybody needs to chill, including Elon Musk, talking about all this AI is dangerous and all this. Ben, he he completely disagrees, and he's going to explain why in this video. All right, let's check him out. I keep thinking about chips in my head. Amish now want to maintain the traditional, you know, Wait, farming life. Jump up if it's like 2045 that. or even if it's nice. 2090 or so. Yeah. Let me just talk about that briefly. So say the singularity happens at 2045. And the point is, is even if it's 2045 or even if it's 2095 or 2295, the point is, is it's going to happen. Yeah. Right? They're talking about the singularity. Should we explain to people what the singularity happen, is? Right? So they know, that, so they have know, context for this. On the sure, let's do it. Agree it's going to happen. But uh, and it's going to happen. Explain, explain to the people what the singularity is. So the, the technological singularity is when the, the rate of, of progress or in computer evolution or computer revolution uh, increases so much that, that we can't keep up and it just the, the improvements become exponential and faster than the human can uh, evolve. The rate of computer evolution is more than the human brain can, what's the word? To comprehend. Comprehend, like, thank computers you. Computers will be speaking yes. to each other and building their own languages and building software, and we won't have any idea what's going on unless we jack into the matrix. Oh, here comes Neuralink. Yeah. All right, we got a couple videos we can piggyback off this one video. But anyway, yeah. so now you have context for what these guys are talking about. That's the singularity. Proceed. So, this is, this is fascinating. He's, he's covering a lot of ground here. Yeah. Uh, so, so if you don't, don't have to work anymore, that means the robots are doing all the stuff that we talked about at the beginning of the video. Absolutely. The robots are doing everything. You uploaded your brain. If you need to do something, you jump into a robot. So, like... You already know how this is going to play out. That's it. I mean, with this whole Neuralink thing that's happening... Yeah. Like, you can... And the, the thing we just talked about with the Microsoft Black Mirror thing. Right, like yes. Between the Neuralink and the social media, AI, uploading all of your... And your the 3D printing, and yes. Like, if we could just all get uploaded. What would be the point of being an unattractive, overweight person? Right, even when you could have your dope avatar. I'm saying, <laughs> what was the movie with the, uh, with the, with the, with the Freddy Krueger and the, all the... 
They had the Nightmare on Elm Street. Street? No, <laughs> that's Freddy the Krueger. correct answer. No, the video game movie Ready Player One. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Where they're in the VR thing and they're in there all day. She was so upset because she had a little scar. Yeah. yeah. Just because she had a scar, she was like, "No, you're gonna see my beautiful virtual self." Yeah, yeah. I kind of see that being the reality. Do you remember that movie, um, um, Demolition Man? Yeah, yeah. Where they like. People don't have real sex anymore. They don't exchange bodily fluids. That's they only right. have VR sex. Yes. And he's like, what is this thing? <laughs> <laughs> like, what is that what the world's going to come to? Like, between Man. like between the VR and sex robots, like, yeah. people will never leave their houses. Oh, it's coming, man. I mean, I think that is definitely going to be an option because you already have people who are living, if, if I'm correct, correct me if I'm wrong, who are already living virtual lives completely online, making a living online because people pay them for the goods and services Damn they provide. Everybody's doing that right now with this COVID shit. Right? right? Yes. Working from home, like, look what we're doing right now. <laughs> like, at least we're here hanging out together, talking and stuff. Right. A lot of people, myself included sometimes, go days at a time without seeing other humans because we're working from home, eating at home, or socializing on, yep. on Zoom, or playing, you know, um, uh, what do you call them, MMOs, massively multiplayer real, online real. games and shit. Thank God for Zoom. Thank God for Fortnite. Right? Like, when the lockdown was going on, that's all you could do. Facts. On a Zoom meeting. Yeah, man. Watch some YouTube videos. Watch Netflix until there's nothing left to watch. The crazy thing is, five or six years ago, I think we would have thought this sounded crazy. Yeah. That's not that long ago, man. So think five years from now. Yeah, right Ooh, now, this shit is just, it's normal now. So five years from now, yeah. Oh, boy. But, yeah, all we, the information we, we just, from this. Now they're sparring about college campuses. So, actually, the conclusion that I wanted to come to from this is, do you agree with Ben Gortzel? Do you really believe that artificial intelligence will not become smarter than humanity, look at humanity, and be like, we don't need this. Let's get rid of them. Because that's kind of the point that he's making. I think that's almost inevitable. <sighs> that's not good news. <laughs> like, I disagree with him all, almost completely. Like, if if we don't jack in and keep up, I mean, I guess what he said is is some people will do that and some people won't. That is what he's so saying. Yeah, somebody's got to jack in and keep up and and stay on top of the AI. We can't all be Amish. I'm with you, dude. I, I think I'm Team Elon. Neuralink. Yeah. Yeah, he, 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 that what Elon says is we got to keep up. Jack in and keep up, or the AI will outrun us and singularity us and have no need for us in the future. However, do not try to newer link me until 10 million people have done it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I do don't not want to be a beta user in my brain. <laughs> for real. <laughs> and that, as they say, my friends, is that. Tech Taste Daily. Smash the like button. If you like what you see, and you see what you like. <laughs>